Hey, greetings and salutations to all. This is the final video of Project Facts About Invisible. I began this project with uh, my first 10 facts, and today we finish 100 facts. Usually, I would give you 10 facts to pause the video within 10 seconds and read them on your own. This is the last video. So I shall be reading for you all the 100 facts. Truthfully, I thought we could reach maybe 500 or 1000, but uh, the lack of interest is very much visible. That starting this project was completely a waste of time. And uh, frankly, a waste of energy as well. With that being said, let's get started quickly. Facts about invisible. Number one. Invisible is a very serious person who doesn't joke around and when he uses sarcasm, it's always realistic and dark. That's true. <laughs> I'm a very serious person. I grew up in a very sarcastic environment, if I must say so. And uh, I never was taught what's the difference between seriousness and jokes. To the point where I completely programmed my brain that <coughs> everything is serious, nothing is a joke. Since you couldn't tell between serious or joke, so when you, you heard something serious, you thought it was a joke. And when you heard, you heard a joke, it, it, you thought it was something serious. So for me, humor doesn't exist. Unless it was dark sarcasm. Number two. Used to write novels and stories, and then due to criticism, it stopped. Wouldn't mind returning if enough motivation is found. Yes, between the middle school years and the high school years, I used to write lots of novels and stories, completely original. And I used also to accept requests for writing these things. But after getting so much criticism by my parents and my teachers in the college, I was so much criticized to the point that I no longer feel like writing anymore. Yes, congratulations. You shut my writer's spirit down completely. I can't believe that people actually gave me and forced me into writer's block. I do have a lot of uh, projects on hold, but will I go there, go and continue them, finish them? I'm not sure. I mean, when you get told that books will not sell and you cannot get your uh, living from selling uh, stories, novels, and whatnot, also our generation and our uh, community doesn't read much to begin with it over and over and over again and when you when they insist on you so many times that no matter what you do even if you sent them online it will not uh, sell at all and it will not give you food to put on your table enough money your spirit simply dies out. I mean, yes, the Harry Potter to, uh, Harry Potter uh, film, uh, books exist, Lord of the Rings exist, um, Dungeons and Dragons, We Wish of the Coast exist, many other authors exist, but looks like maybe Invisible's books are just fated for failure and ruinage. So, yeah. Frankly enough, um, writing books and novels needs a rich imagination and a level of role-playing ability and self-esteem. I have the imagination, I have the role-playing and uh, creating multiple scenarios for role-playing, which was why I thought to become even a Dungeons and Dragons uh, Dungeon Master. Hit again. Why should I bother? if everyone will be a critic. Why should I bother if it will not give me food on my table? And why should I bother when everyone around me is a hater or a critic? It's not worth it. Mostly, I, 
I used to believe that I was born to be a successful writer since I have that this talent with me the strongest. It looks like it was never meant to be. So to hell with it. I still have the ability. <clears throat> I do. If I start writing something, I may just uh, trigger my uh, inspiration again and start writing and stop it again. Every time I wish to write something, I remember, remind myself, if I cannot sell this thing, if I cannot get my income from it, what's the point then? Why bother? So yeah, thank you very much for killing my talent, killing my spirit, and uh, finishing me off completely. I couldn't have... I couldn't have been finished without you, so thank you so very much, my parents and my teachers. You never fail to kill off whatever pride and esteem I had left. One round of applause, please. Well done. Mm, well done. Thank you very much for your destruction. Number three. Is invisible is suffering from melancholic depression and hardly is pleased by anything he does at all. Yeah, melancholic depression is a very old and uh, kind of weird uh, subgenre of depression. Simply put, depression itself is the feeling of being really sad all the time, never stop. Destruction of self-esteem, destruction of a pleasure in anything you do, have done, or you did routinely used to do. Not having um, energy to do anything at all, literally. Sometimes even sleeping and oversleeping and so on. Melancholy depression adds a little more spice to this. And completely disables your ability to feel any pleasure, any happiness or any sense of accomplishment when you do anything forever. <laughs> In order for you to destroy depression for, for, uh, from all of its types, you will need serotonin blockers, as in you will need uh, chemicals that literally would block your sense of feeling for negative energy and negative uh, feelings. Thing is, if you already have depression, you know it is too hard to force your brain into a feeling good state. And if you have melancholic depression, which means by default, your brain restricts and blocks your positive reactory receivers, and you block your uh, negative ones as well, you will literally become a corpse cannot feel anything, cannot uh, react to anything, you will just be a poker face permanently. So yeah, this is why whenever I laugh at something, it's a reaction, not from the heart. Whenever I get suppressed by something and I laugh or uh, make jokes or whatnot, it's mostly sarcasm. A truthful laugh from the heart is too hard to produce for me. It's almost impossible. Unless you can trigger my funny bone, in which case, good luck with that. Because it's too hard to even trigger that. <laughs> Number four. Rogue agent Karudan, Marcos, ZPTV123, Arforel, <coughs> are among my inner circle friends, uh, forward slash distant brothers who uh, who I wouldn't mind <coughs> taking a bolt for, for real. Yeah. Rogue Agent Carodand, Marcos, ZPTV123, Arforel, are, uh, used to be strangers to me until I befriended them very much. That, for me, I see them as uh, distant uh, siblings. And if they were to be mugged or whatever, or if a war was to trigger, I wouldn't mind taking a boat for them, save their lives. True friends like them are not easy to come by. And my life is cheap if it can be used to benefit them or to help them survive even for one more second. Five, is an uh, invisible is an architect bachelor and is, con is continuing his high education studies. Self-explanatory, yes. 
I'm a bachelor in architect, <coughs> and I'm currently continuing my studying. Self-explanatory. Six. Invisible can speak three languages. I can speak English, Arabic, and the French. A little bit. And I already demonstrated uh, my ability to be multilinguistic. I'm thinking about maybe adding other languages, but who knows? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. Uh, Invisible's sexual market value, SMV, is zero. Also, he's his own worst critic. Uh, SMV is how much um, a score you could reach from 1 to 10 that could make you a possible uh, marriage partner or dating uh, target. I am my own worst critic because I believe that no matter what I do, I never will be enough, <laughs> never used to be enough, and never will be enough, as is. So, frankly, I'm not interested in anyone or becoming anyone uh, else's partner or anything. Frankly, I believe I will just disarrange a virgin until I die, and, uh, and I wouldn't mind it because the world as is is not worth going with this <laughs> anyway number eight invisible although is a millennial he hates all the trends don't talk with me about instagram tiktok <coughs> or twitter unless it's for business don't talk with me about uh, tumblr facebook etc none of my business don't talk with me about influencers don't talk with me about um, celebrities, about um, human, mostly brands or bands or whatnot. You know, the top 10 celebrities in singing, pop, uh, popular culture, etc. I don't know any of them and I don't care about them either. As long as your trend is worthy, is productive, is... Um, very great for self-developing, reaching goals and whatnot. I'm interested. Otherwise, it's just for <coughs> attention hoarding. Then no need for it. Number nine. Invisible used to enjoy multiplayer games. Now only play single player ones. Okay, about this. Invisible used to play mul uh, massive, uh, multiple massive uh, role-playing uh, online games, uh, MMORPGs, um, for uh, multi-massive role-playing online games for nine, nine complete years, and jumped f through them till the very point that I realized that playing with other people is disgusting very much. And um, the continuous focus on a player versus a player. And I believe I already made a, a full rant about this um, previously. I'm not really sure in which video or which live stream. But long story short, the brief is Invisible at the moment only focuses on single player games. And even if there are cooperation. Um, features will not be used i just simply prefer single player games over all else that's it if you want to, uh, me to rant about them once again just go to one of my streams maybe the more uh, recent ones i ranted on them until i lost my voice on that video so recording good <coughs> hold it here 10 Invisible talks in third person when he wishes to make a joke out of himself or when criticizing himself. That's also true. I'm even doing it right now. <laughs> Invisible is very much harsh on himself. He wouldn't mind uh, honestly talking to himself if needed since uh, almost nobody visits his... Uh, videos so he ends up having a conversation with himself as if there are two people at the same time talking to each other you wouldn't understand because he uses the same exact voices for them both in fact is invisible is talking to his actual persona and not the 
blind persona. You know very well that everyone has two personas. Your original one that you live with your day to day life and your brand persona that you um, use as your social face. Personas in psychology are what you call the social mask you have. Social mask that you have to put on to be able to attract with the society. So when those bear masks are both uh, talking to each other, the original and the brand, with the same voice, you could easily distinguish between them both because the original is always realistic while the persona always speaks of the possibilities and sometimes even attacks the original with harsh criticism and whatnot. Uh, I believe maybe Alfred once uh, told me this is schizophrenic. It's not schizophrenic. It's more like uh, having possibly a multiple personality disorder, as in having two minds in the same body. But I digress. Let's continue. Invisible believes in giving gratitude while alive. They did want to smell the flowers no matter the quantity. Yep. Give a credit where it's due. Give a gratitude where it's due. No matter how much you pay for the flowers and how many of their quantity, the dead will never smell them. In fact, the, the act of putting flowers on the graves of the dead is just pointless. 12. Invisible prefers magic and medieval fantasies over the modern settings. 2. Magic is... <laughs> Uh, magic holds endless potentials and uh, medieval settings are the most that uh, nowadays everyone just uh, goes to since our modern uh, more settings are mostly political mostly western and mostly <coughs> are on the same exact topics non-stop so they are kind of over uh, they are kind of overblown and over super saturated by now 13 Invisible hates difficulty in games with a pure grudge. If you think that uh, FromSoft is the mother of all the difficulty in games, you are more naive than I thought is possible. FromSoft only came out to be with its own fame due to the current generation <laughs> that is completely deranged with uh, sadistic love for trash. If you were to live in the early 2000s and the late uh, 900s, you would realize how much more hard and purely degenerate gaming design used to have. Difficulty is insane. Adults only stuff, and you could start pointing your head at the point where you become bald, and then start this uh, and start scaring your own skull until there is just nothing but flesh and bone, until the moment you reach your own brain, at which point the game has defeated you. Hard games are not meant to be played, to be finished, or to be conquered. If you make a game that is so hard to the point that it makes you rich quit, it simply means that the developers never intended for you to finish it in the first place. Same goes for the impossible to do achievements. If it's too hard to finish, perhaps you weren't meant to finish them in the first place. That's it. Number 14. Invisible things about how life will go without him very often. Self-explanatory. That's it, literally. 15. Hates most of the new releases and famous things, most likely because of the cultist fans not that protects itself. I'd rather digress on this one. Yes, fans do create gatekeeping uh, groups where they will <coughs> reject anyone that's a new to that franchise. And unless it comes 
up to their own liking and their expectations, they'd rather not have the product in the first place. Is this example for that? <laughs> Again, with the from soft trash gatekeepers. If you don't get good as it was a joke, now it is a cultistic phrase, then get lost. No pain, no gain. Uh, play hard or go home, etc. And whenever you ask, why should I play this hard? Because you have to get good. What about if I just want to have fun and not get good? What if I wish to have myself entertained and not learn every single code within the game coding? Because it's not my job. Nope. In order for you to have the full experience, you must worship the game itself. In which case, I told you, I'll tell you, give me back my backpack, I'm leaving. Fans ruined for me all the Justice League. They ruined for me Marvel. They ruined for me Capcom. They ruined for me DC. They ruined for me almost everything. <coughs> Humans, only job is to ruin everything for everyone. Simply put. Online games uh, fans who just worship the PvP ruined uh, the multiple game, multiplayer games for me. Those who love difficulty ruined many titles for me. I'm simply opting out of the market of the new product releases because everything is becoming overinflated, everything is becoming political, and everything has <coughs> included in its own macro. Uh, transactions and the pure transactions and everything right now is not worth even the purchase my raging is killing my throat sometimes the product itself is not worth looking at and sometimes fans are the gatekeepers and the triggers sometimes both of them should just burn in hell number 16 Invisible Cash himself, day and night, if he made mistakes when the other side was correct, also had uh, holds life long grudges against his enemies. Both of them are self-explanatory and true. Yes, if I were to make um, mistakes for anyone and I figured out they were correct, I wouldn't uh, forgive myself even until the moment I die. It, the mistakes I do are unforgivable. Simple point, simple case and point, really. Also, if you are my enemy and I held a gadget on you, if the world ends, I will have my revenge. Even if the, if the world ends, I will have my revenge, regardless. Number 17. Never drinks alcohol, eat pork, eat pork, nor ever went to a party. Self-explanatory. Yep, never drank alcohol, beer or whatever. Never did eat pork and never went to a party because I'm an introvert, simply put. I prefer to drink tea and coffee, water, fruit juices, etc. Instead of alcohol. Um, pork, I just hate it so much. Bacon, both. Anything from pigs. For me, is not on my to eat menu. 18. Invisible is a pure, pure introvert with a, a best friend, very limited circle. True. That is true. I don't even have to explain this. I keep uh, sh shouting out for them in every single session. 19. Invisible's questions often if he requires a permission to write a comment, especially when he gets attacked on his opinions all the time. True, we are living um, now in a time in which everything offends everyone. And even commenting right now, if it has some censored words by some degenerates, then it will instantly be deleted. Do, we, do I really have to ask for a permission for saying every single word? In which case, perhaps just delete commenting altogether, delete videos with commentary altogether, and frankly, by that point, just remove sending, remove reports, remove explanatory, remove documents, shut down the platform, the end. Because uh, the more restrictions you keep giving, the lesser stuff can be made. It's a very obvious 
a snowball effect. By the end, you will shut down the platform, you will shut down the internet, to hell with communication, all of it. Number 20. Invisible on so many occasions was called a troll, even th though he demanded he demands assassination of trolls to be legally enforced multiple times online on discord in commentary on uh, uh, forums etc i was i was uh, accused of being a troll i was accused of being uh, inflammatory trying to um, start a big uh, cyber attacks or cyber barbaries and whatnot and frankly Whenever I see bullying or trolls or haters around me, uh, such as the degenerates who uh, attacked the, the staff of uh, uh, Studio Red who made the cyberpunk, personally, I, I demand that le it to be enforced legally for IPs to be traced to their uh, original source and all of these people all these trolls, these humans, to be placed in a row, in the streets, in the public, in the capital, and be executed via hang hanging or via cru crucifixion. The lesser you have of trolls, the lesser you have of haters, the lesser you have of degenerates on the internet, the cleaner environment you have. Problem with that is that the human race, by design, is itself deranged. Jeez, invisible, calm down. This is not a rant. You are just reading your own facts. Please calm the actual hell down. 21. Invisible needs a reason or a goal to do literally anything. Yeah. Unless I know why I'm doing this, or why I'm doing that, or for what purpose, or if it will bear some fruits of labor or whatnot, or if it was actually worth the investment of time and money and resources and health and soul and wasted uh, <coughs> life, then it's not worth doing. Number 22. His ideal image of a partner will inevitably leave him alone forever. True? At first, I used to uh, be very much casual about this, not having preferences, anything goes, etc. The more I grew up, past my 20s, um, I realized that I actually have a very specific type, and that if I cannot find this specific type, then I am not interested in any others at all. I could have went, uh, if I, I could have uh, gone through explaining this type, but sorry, the internet is not a place where one could just reveal all their weaknesses, all their strengths, and then ask why did I get hacked or why am I getting attacked. This kind of uh, idea, <laughs> image of the uh, of the perfect partner, is mine and mine alone. And I will not share it, except if you are among my closed circle of uh, brothers from another mother's, which is my more closest best friends, people who I am more than prepared to take a boat for. Otherwise, forget it. Number 23. Invisible is more interested in playing video games as uh, animals, more or monsters, or any other race other than that is uh, not a human. True. For me, uh, I think that uh, my first ever games to play were Crash uh, Team Racing, Crash is the trilogy, Spyro, um, I played the Bugs Bunny Lost in Time, I played Taz Wanted, which was very bad, <laughs> I played Bugs Bunny and Taz, I played uh, Okami, I played Jack and Daxter, and uh, many, I tried multiple times to play Echo the Dolphin, but I couldn't uh, play as a role. I played Rampage, I played War of the Monsters. I find much more pleasure in playing as uh, fantasy um, races, werewolves, vampires, dwarves, elves, uh, etc. Draw, whatnot. Khajiit from Skyrim are a great uh, example. Um, Elves in their uh, species types. Dwarfs are not half bad. Elementals, possibly. 
were beasts who all the beasts can um play as birds in simulations and don't even dare bring to me good simulator because jokes are not games okay jokes are not games anything but a, but a human simply put because um, i just don't like to build to play humans as much that's all unless there is a twist for it okay number 24 prefers games with a single ending over multiple endings unless the game it truly is captivating and great and deserves to have multiple endings to a certain same degree i wouldn't mind it really especially with deception games each game has four to five endings and whatnot i wouldn't really mind it as long as the game itself is worth playing and is entertaining and fun and when i say this i again look at the the artist behind it, Dragon Guard 1, Dragon Guard 2, near near Automata, and uh, the newest ones as well. When someone tells you to to make uh, games with multiple endings, also includes uh, Heverian and Life is Strange, uh, Telltale games, etc. Making the player go through make, uh, playing multiple endings in order for them to reach the true ending if it exists is just torture if the game itself is too long. Is too long. Thus, I prefer a game with a single ending, even if I have to play it multiple times according to what I am aiming for in it. Number 25. I'm so sorry about my continuous coughing. Invisible is a completion completionist only if he truly believes in what he's doing or is ready to com to commit to a goal <coughs> what happened with me when I'm playing uh, American McGee's Alice and Alice Madness Returns including also Kena Bridge of Spirits um, Stray the cat game Ghostwire Tokyo and other games that I faced 100% when I believe in my heart full of, uh, full heartly, completely, that a game deserves time, it deserves the investment, it deserves uh, to be faithful to it, I wouldn't mind going the whole nine yards to give it complete completion. But if uh, I find uh, it too much frustrating, too much bothersome to finish, and... Uh, I keep failing in it until the point where my frustration builds beyond the point of patience. I simply give up and let it be. Number 26. Invisible believes that the underrated, not so popular media could have potentially hidden, potentially hidden away from the eyes of, of the society and can overtake the, and conquer the beginner media if they were given the chance. This example are Rumble, Upload Society, Dailymotion, um, and other platforms that are not like YouTube. Other platforms do exist. Vomi, uh, Rumble, etc. I don't really remember their names at the moment. But at the very least, being mainstream doesn't mean that you own everything and you conquer everything. It just means that you have more of a coverage. That's it. If other people were to share and uh, advertise other places and areas, they can overtake you and they can swipe, sweep the, the floor with your face. I'm talking about Alphabet. Google and YouTube, the, the three, both of them. I don't care, <coughs> the three of them. I don't care that they are giants. I don't care that they are multi-billionaire, multi-billion worth uh, of, uh, of money to them, net worth, whatever. Everything that goes up will inevitably goes down. My gamma is killing me. Because I'm ranting, everything that goes up must go down. 
and the giants will sooner or later be overthrown. 27. Invisible supports gender equality to the maximum. If you wish to be, if you wish to, um, if you wish to be, to act like a man, then you deserve to be responded to like a man. If you are going to uh, fight someone, expect to be fought back. If you're going to swear at someone, expect a retaliation. If you're going to uh, humiliate someone, humiliate someone, expect a retaliation. If you wish to act like a man, you will be <laughs> respond, replied to like a man. It's just that simple. I do highly support gender equality to the maximum and retaliation. If you wish, if you punish someone, you will be punished. If you curse at someone, you will be cursed at. And if you try to finish someone, you will be finished. It's just how the world goes. 28. Invisible suffers from oversaturation on a regular basis, making game hate lots of popular and beloved stuff. Self-explanatory. I don't even need to explain it other than supersaturation, which means that everyone around me keeps talking about the same thing over and over and over again. To the point where, frankly, I'd rather have my... I'd rather leave the area than keep listening to them. Simply put. Number 20, 29. If you want a radical troll and haters and bullies and impersonators, harassers and self worshippers, herging in the cyber web, in the cyber world, give him a hacking uh, operation system and he'll gladly trash 80% of the social media. <laughs> If I truly have the intent on cleaning off the cyber world, I wouldn't mind learning how to hack and crack IP tracing and backdoors uh, cracking and uh, basically having a full um, a full course retaliation. Everyone that trolls that impersonates everyone that uh, hates and uh, makes a big scene on the media should be executed. And I'm not talking about deleting accounts or banning even IP addresses. I'm talking about blood casualties. Because the humans lack the ability to learn and to stop. 30. Invisible has has no faith in the human race and is not looking forward building any faith in them sooner or later. self explanatory 31. Top favorite animals are wolves, foxes, and cats. Hates much so much with the, with an undying passion. Again, self explanatory 32. Calls pit bulls hellhounds because they were mutated by humans in hell and then sent to and sent uh, out to the whole world to destroy it. That's also true. If you are a pit bull lover or advocate, by all means, leave the area here and finish yourself. Pit bulls are hellhounds. End of the story. They are not dogs, they are not pets, they are <coughs> hellhounds, Dev devils that were spawned from hell and brought to us, mutated by human hands. 33. He's an advocate of death, sees nothing wrong in self-finishing in suicide and believes all that uh, leads to it is purely the failure of the society toward the, individu the individuals. Yeah. I see nothing wrong if someone wishes to leave this cursed world and I don't see anything wrong with with uh, supporting them doing so. In fact, if someone reaches that point of uh, decision, decision making and despair, it simply means that the globe around him, I'm talking about the full seven continents, had failed them to the point of uh, self-finishing. 
meaning the human race itself is the, is the failure, not the individuals. The individuals who decide on uh, taking the shortcut are not uh, to be shamed for doing that. They're not selfish, they're not uh, evil, they're not bad. If you want them, is the reason they reached this conclusion. If you call them names, you are the very names they are call you are calling them. If you are the one that jokingly kept pushing them, you deserve to be in their place and you deserve to be executed. Simply put. 34. Doesn't acknowledge the existence of Edge Lords because he believes everyone has have the right to live their fantasies as long as they are not degenerate. I think the two words the deranged and degenerate are going to become my catchphrases. Yeah, on uh, tabletop games, single player games, <coughs> etc. Having a tragic background story, having a bad background, then growing up to power is not what you call an edge lord. What you call an edge lord is someone that wishes to hoard attention and wishes to show up like they are the man of everything, the perfection of perfection, the ultimate thing, the lord of everything, in which case, please shut yourself down and leave. Being someone with a tragic background or uh, had to go through many hardships and then had to develop yourself and uh, grow your trust from the ground up makes you a legend, not an edge lord. And it looks like people can't tell the, the difference between them both. 35. Hates all kinds of intimate, uh, disgusting things and hits all who uses them through, uh, through their intercourses. Yeah. Uh, for me, all kinds of uh, sick practices, even if it was intimate, since currently in the world, everything intimate and everything sacred is coming to the public, and people are showing their sickness and uh, insanity that they pull up. Frankly, you truly are shutting down the arousal with your practices. It's just too sick to be even seen or looked at. Problem is, everything right now is becoming uh, mainstream stuff, and uh, nobody really cares about keeping anything secret anymore or secret. It's okay. Even if I go on for two hours, I don't really care about it. This will be the last video of this kind. 36. So whenever you wish to do your sickness in your own houses. Keep it yourself. Do not talk about it. Do not gossip about it. If you must share about it, then please, pretty please, delete your accounts and go to hell where you belong. 36. Whenever someone asks him, how is it going? He answers with, still alive, and under breath, continues, sadly. Yeah. So how is it going, Elizabeth? What's up? Um, living regretfully, still alive, yeah, sadly. Because for me, living is a curse and death is a blessing. Simply put, every night, every day when I wake up, I just ask, how long do you want to, to keep me in this torture exactly? When will my time arrive when I can simply sleep forever? I wonder. 37. Has lots of uh, lots and lots of plans and possible content to make that he will not uh, be able to be making pulls for. His only problem is with his tools. Will, will his tools be able to keep up with his, with his burden? Yes. I do have so much potentially planned projects and lots of streams offline uh, recorded videos, you, you name it. Thing is, I'm not sure if my hardware and software can keep up with this kind of pressure and weight. 
is old. What are they? In time, we'll see. 38. Invisible is interested in the videos made by Lex Bear, who is sharing multiple facts uh, as well. Lex Bear used to share some facts about himself and is uh, reluctant to open up too much in the public, which I respect. Also, his points are quite uh, interesting to read and to contemplate about. And I respect him for that. 39. Invisible has a sweet tooth, loves everything sweet, sugar, honey, candy, you name it. True. Sadly, it also brings with it extra weight to keep up with and possibility of uh, diabetes. <laughs> Whatever. 40. Hates naggers and nagging. Keep nagging him about stuff and he'll quit the stuff and ignore the reason for the nagging. Also, you'll become his enemy. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, true. If you want my attention, speak the topic only once. If you keep nagging and nagging and nagging and nagging about the thing, I'll simply block you mentally and pretend that I have just killed you 500 times in 500 methods with 500 different weapons and places and times and ages. So yeah, nagging is uh, part of trolling. So please, know your boundaries. 41. Loves watching Killer Rodan, uh, Rogue Agent Killer Rodan, his horror, uh, <coughs> his horror uh, films fan, uh, friend, <coughs> sorry, sorry, I'm uh, not uh, reading this correctly. Loves watching Rogue Agent Killer Rodan, his horror films fan, friend, making lots of content, and normally has nothing to add because Rogue Agent Kildan would have by then spoken all the information that is important about the reviews. True, Rogue Agent Kildan has a whole annual um, Halloween non-stop season. He keeps watching uh, horror films, reviewing them. Um, currently, he's going through politics as well. And uh, I respect him for his sincerity and his strong uh, passion about what he does. 42. Invisible used to enjoy um, knighting the beasts of the Alfred Empire members whenever they leveled up their status. This takes me back to the early 2010, 2010s. When I still ha was uh, active within my older uh, style, I had the Beasts of the Altered. Basically, the channel's main reason to exist was literally to advertise for Sega's uh, uh, Beast King Chronicles uh, Project Altered Beast, where I created a group of friends that uh, was called the Ultra, the Ultra Beasts Empire. Then I was requested, uh, I got a request to change the name to Beasts of the Ultra, which literally means that we are uh, role playing as beasts from the game that Luke, the main character, transforms to 10 different shapes and forms. Each of us took on one of the forms and uh, I began leveling them up in a gaming style, gamification, to encourage uh, feedback and commentary. Sadly, that didn't work out at all, which is one of the reasons why I retired in 2016. The past in the past. Yeah, I used to enjoy it quite uh, very much knighting them in a uh, European style. 43. The word achievement doesn't exist in his dictionary. True, because I, didn't, I do not believe that anything is actually worth achieving. If you, you are done with something, you are done with it. Go to the next thing. I'm not an achievement hunter either. 44. He's a very religious person, but not an extremist. I do believe in God. My belief is, uh, my religion is none of your business. But I do believe in a higher power. And uh, I'm not, I don't go to the extreme with it. That's it. 
45 disowns the existence of majority of celebrities and their works because he sees celebrity worship nothing more than a waste of time. Self explanatory 46. First ever console to play PlayStation 1 and then PlayStation 2 when PlayStation 3 was released until his very day he never played any of its games nor anything after it. Simply put when the PS3 arrived my uh, siblings took it over and played it non-stop I had no time to play I had no time to achieve it with it anything at all almost and uh, yeah I had my college years back then so I was almost deprived from using our uh, TV I usually played PlayStation 1 and 2 on the CRT TV our newer uh, TV was uh, was used by mostly by my parents and they wanted to watch TV more than uh, it was allowed to play the PS games so at the end PS3 was the generation where I stopped completely playing because I couldn't I do have a number of games but it's very much limited and my biggest library so far is the PlayStation 2 games which kind of explains why I have no uh, preference over majority of the titles for the PS3 PS4 is not, not even on my radar at the moment I stopped caring about this altogether I only play the new PC games only if I can somehow uh, emulate PS3 on my uh, laptop and play its games somehow from their room, I wouldn't mind uh, streaming them if possible. 47. Hates roguelites, difficult games, metroidvania uh, games, and almost all Nintendo games hates 2D scrollers and disowns the existence of all the Super Zero comics and characters. To him, games that supposedly creates an entire genre by themselves never existed and never will doom breath of the wild and other super saturated garbage aren't worth of his time yeah self-explanatory literally i don't have to uh, keep explaining this or even justify them uh, 48 <laughs> is very interested in researching religion and cultures to widen his understanding also is not afraid of speaking out his mind as long as the other side will not attack his beliefs I wouldn't mind exchanging knowledge, interests, um, acquiring uh, new uh, points of uh, view and whatnot. As long as you do not attack my beliefs, I wouldn't mind keeping the conversation going. The moment you start attacking my beliefs that I, that I hold dear, you are officially my enemy. 49. For the whole 14 years, his former clothes for some reason, some weird reason, consists of two common themes, the color blue and his hoodie, just a forward slash jumper. Yeah, I uh, lately noticed that my main getup always was just a red blouse and uh, I mean blue, blue, dra blue blouse and uh, blue pair of jeans for some reason. Also, I truly love uh, to hold my jumper for some reason. I'm repeating myself and I need to change my choice of words and phrases. <coughs> 50. When enraged enough and finding it pointless altogether speaking with someone else, to the point he'd rather die than keep arguing, he takes his leave and pretends the other side had just died. And multiple times whenever someone t talks with me in the comments and makes fun of me, I tell them just, you are blocked. Once I tell them you are blocked, you have officially in my mind died, you have really died, and you were buried nine, uh, nine feet under, um, or simply put, 10 meters under the ground. You never existed, never will, and uh, all the interactions between us were just fantasy. You're out of my life, and that's it. I'm, I, whenever I get too much burned out, you either die or I will kill you on my own. It's too many missed portions, way too many. And I'm not talking about keyboard warriors. I'm talking about bring, bring your pistol. We're, we're, the only way we're finishing this is with blood. And I'm not joking. <laughs> 51. Prefers games with female protagonists over male, 
ones because majority of games have male protagonists and also female designs usually is more taken care of true true i wouldn't mind to play as males but most of the players just make their own uh mirrored, mirrored image i'll play as males because it's just the default but whenever there's a an option to play as a female soviet Female characters are always uh, design, designed much more carefully because they are that they are the advertisement itself for the games. They have more um, interestingly designed clothes. They have uh, different parts, and they are much better sight to look at whenever they idle or not. And uh, honestly, by now, gaming as any sex or any gender is just me, whatever, play as you wish. Uh, 52 prefers revenge plots over save the world plots self explanatory uh, 53 anything that gets localized censored of any product for him already died before it hit the stores uh, the store shelves uh, censorship is vandalism to the vision of the designer as much as street graffiti is seen as vandalism for the public spaces when you spend years upon years to develop and create art, games and whatnot, and then it gets <coughs> censored, it's localized and ruinized. For me, it had already died and never existed. I don't care about the title anymore or the franchise itself anymore. You either give me 100% the original product or give me nothing. I'm an idealist, just deal with it. Give me 100 percent or give me zero if it's censored zero if you if it's it cannot be modded back to the, its original form it's zero if, um, if there's a patch for it then i wouldn't mind to be more flexible if you believe that um, graffiti on the walls of the public are vandalism then censorship is also vandalism you have no right to change anything at all in a product's original design nothing 54 and if by the way if uh, the public is not ready for the, the original uh, design itself then simply don't localize it and keep it for the fans themselves to translate it if there are too much of a weird looking imagery symbolism etc you don't and you cannot uh, localize it without censoring it or changing some stuff with it don't touch it let the fans who will pay their money for it do the work themselves for it. Your vandalizing is not allowed, is not acceptable, and it's a criminal. And if you're telling me that all oh, this is just uh, the politics stuff, to hell with them both. Censorship, whoever is uh, <laughs> responsible for it, and also their uh, regulations. Either give me the full truth, or don't give me anything at all. It's just that simple. 40, uh, 54. Not too picky when it comes to food, as long as it's normal and nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy as in the exotic foods. I will not eat anything that's too exotic. Normal foods wouldn't really have a problem with me at all. 55. Drinks lots of tea and coffee, not addicted, but rather the body is too used for it. So, to suddenly stop. True. Thanks for my college uh, years. It's too hard now to stop drinking uh, too much sugary stuff. 56. He knows that games aren't meant for kids alone, and that adults and teens also have their own genres. self explanatory 57. Doesn't believe he'll ever find a partner, and honestly, doesn't want one either way. Again, self explanatory. I should have added this with uh, SMV0. 58. Favorite fruits, apples, oranges, grapes, uh, watermelons, and cherries. Yeah, I love uh, fruits that uh, can be turned into juices and can be drunk also. Yeah. 59. Never argue with him about religious beliefs or anything else he doesn't believe in. Or he'll kill you in his mind 500 different styles within 5 minutes. I, um, I said it already. 
60. If the, if the situation looks impossible, he doesn't mind giving up right away. A bunch of times um, saved, <laughs> a bunch of times saved for other important things is greater than rigid quit triggers and statistic, uh, statistic by design garbage. If he's not meant to do something, as in it's too hard to the point where he believes perhaps he wasn't meant to do it to do the thing from the start he'll say he'll leave he'll uh, leave it i don't believe in get uh, good uh, ed edc it's not an ideology it's an edc go uh, go big or go home i'll go home uh, get good or get lost i'll get lost uh, no pain no gain then forget the pain and forget the game i will not Push myself to breaking point. If you wish to keep, keep, keep gatekeeping until you die. I don't care. 61. All politics are the same and just like war never changes. The human race corruption never changes. Is a belief invisible believes in. self explanatory 62. Hates Google and all its sub uh, slave servers to the bones and only uses uh, his hated enemy servers to communicate with others. Frankly, if I can find some other uh, service other than uh, Gmail, YouTube, and uh, Google uh, Translate and whatever, <laughs> whatnot, I will instantly uh, migrate to them. I just need to send all my emails and whatnot to the other email servers. YouTube also needs a replacement altogether completely from the roots up. Google Translate, I really use it. I now use uh, uh, DeepL Translate. And as for uh, the search browser itself, I only use DuckDuckGo. If uh, <coughs> Google wishes, wishes to be everything and wishes to be a tyrant over everyone and everything, might as well just leave. I'm telling the users to leave and to make a strike with their own money, their own investment, and their own loyalty. If you're not going to change yourself before you strike at the corpus, then for, you cannot change anything at all. 63. Uh, stands, uh, stands for uh, and supports artificial intelligence with a passion. I wouldn't mind having a robotic partner than a human one. Terminator films be damned. Their fans be damned. Fear of the artificial intelligence development be damned. Um, those who stand against uh, the AI uh, development and uh, upgrading be damned. If you wish to have a great future, we'll have to coexist with AI regardless. And you will have to just admit that Technology pro uh, progress has to be more intelligent as it keeps on going. If you reject that and you are f afraid of uh, machines one time, one day attacking us, don't remember that the humans are the ones that are programming these machines. So if a machine decides to attack us, it's a human that's attacking us, not the other way around. <laughs> Which means the one who programmed the machine should be the one to blame, to be blamed for its own actions. And if you wish to still give me the Terminator treatment, then by all means, I blame the U.S.'s own military for programming Skynet. I'd rather live under Skynet's own regime than live under a human's regime. Simply put, this is turning into a rant for real. If the humans didn't program Skynet to be evil, it wouldn't have ended up evil. It's a human, uh, human mistake, not robotic mistake. 64. Sees anyone who believes in robotic rebellion, uh, thanks greatly to the trash series of Terminator, as delusional cowards and anti-development and tech evolution. I already spoke about this. 65. Enjoys exploring Asian culture the most, Japanese, Chinese, Korean, etc. Because their mythology is interesting. And their take on the demons, gods, um, cultivation, etc. is also fascinating. Uh, 66. A big fan of yokai folklore, uh, folktale, and old history. True. Uh, lots of fantasy, lots of potential. You know the deal by now. 67. Believes in the existence of sorcery, witchcraft, magic, blessings, curses, and demonic familiars. All true. 
Yeah, self explanatory. <laughs> I believe in all of that. You didn't believe them? It's up to you. For me, I believe in that. 68. Used to play gay card games, mostly Yu-Gi-Oh. Wouldn't mind playing some more as long as he can find someone to play with. Um, big building uh, games and card games. I don't really mind them nowadays, as long as I know the rules <laughs> and I can play with others with them. They are fun from time to time. Uh, Yin and Yang, 69. Uh, multiple times they thought about playing t table top uh, role-playing games, city RPGs, but the more he keeps uh, remembering the truth behind socializing and honestly, read subreddit uh, RPG horror uh, stories, is more than enough to show you that the levels of degeneracy and deranged players is more uh, than enough to break his desire for playing. Yeah, playing with the humans is not wise, is not a good idea, and frankly should be avoided. If you weren't expecting from me to write something here that's funny or uh, any windows or whatnot, you didn't read the first fact. I'm a very serious person. 70. Reflects on the past all the time and recalls how the human race once had morality. Before it, for it, for the, it was for the first second. Self explanatory. 71. Hates getting sick. It affects his productivity. I think this was written when I had the COVID Omicron with me. 72. Uh, favorite colors are black, silver, blue, violet, red, vanta black, as long as all the colors are of the darker hue, because I enjoy darker hue colors. I don't like the colors that are too much bright. 73. Stands for the against the joke of evolution, and disowns it completely. Humans were never apes, instead of the fact of creation. I'm a creationist. Deal with it. If you believe in Dar Darwin's personally dismissed joke of evolution, it's your thing, but don't come to me saying where did the humans come from? They were bacteria, and then something, something, something happened, and then the, uh, <coughs> evolved from apes and whatnot. That's all just um, that's just a disgrace and a joke. I'm a creationist. If you have a problem with that, leave. I believe in the creation, I believe in God, and I believe that um, only atheists believe in evolution. 74. Has uh, hazel eyes and black hair. Self-explanatory, just some information about the appearance, overall appearance, which should not be shared that easily. 75. Was around the, in the times of the of Windows ninety five, and used to use uh, floppy uh, floppy disks and CDs. That's also true. Uh, Seventy six prefers membrane keyboard over mechanical keyboards. I have no idea how the hell people even use mechanical keyboards, because membrane keyboards are much easier to type uh, on, fast start to respond, and do not make a disgusting, noisy. Um, after uh, background noise when you press on them. 77. Believes that dating apps are nothing but a joke and never work. Self-explanatory as well. Frankly enough, uh, dating apps are just nothing more than a joke. They never work and never will. And whoever uses them is just wasting their time. 78. Invisible is not American and he's a proud of it. In fact, he doesn't believe he belongs anywhere. Thus, patriotism doesn't exist. Yeah, I'm not American, and uh, I am proud of that fact. Since uh, I frankly have no loyalty to any country whatsoever at all, because I see anything anywhere that is being ruled by a human, it's just um, hell. Simply put. 79. Hates wars and believes that sides who triggered it deserve to be purged. I'm talking about all kinds of words, whether it was uh, world wars, keyboard wars, chatter wars, a console wars. You start the war, you should be killed. Again, with a blood, um, with <coughs> blood casualties. Whoever uh, starts a war that is not needed should be killed. End of the story. I am a completely radical person. Deal with it. I'd rather finish off all the problems with casualties then keep them happening and keep them repeating 
If you have a problem with the tree, cut its roots and destroy it entirely. <laughs> if you see someone that's about to plant the seed of a problem, get rid of them both. The seed and its carrier. Sometimes the population cutting is the easiest way to clean off problems. 80. Never saw before the aurora, the aurora borealis. I know that you can search for them, uh, their uh, images right now on DuckDuckGo images search or whatnot. But yeah, in actuality, I never saw them. Uh, 81. Doesn't care about history's atrocities, since history is written by the victors, and it's biggest collection of lies ever. It's the biggest. True? I don't care what happened in the world history. I don't care about its atrocities. I don't care about the numbers of people died. I don't care about the burns and the natural disasters, because most of these histories written are pure lies. Why should I believe in a lie? 82. Doesn't care about the Pearl Harbor, nor 9-11, nor any other American events. He's not American, so why should he care? Also, he doesn't see Germany as demons either. If you must see humans as demons, he has to see, he has the entire human race for it. <laughs> All of it. Yeah, I don't care about the American history. I'm not American. I don't care about what happened of the tragedies or... Uh, Events that stood uh, still in the past. What, uh, what happened in the past just happened and is done. Whatever, whoever died just died and, and, and is done. I, I don't see Germany also as uh, dem a demonic entity. I don't see the Nazis are as evil people. All this is just the propaganda. And uh, just a brainwashing lunacy. Whoever sees the swastika and sees the Roman salute or sees the mustache of a Charlie Chaplin or whatever as uh, bad stuff, symbolism, iconism, gotta hell from, the, from this very point. And if I'm seeing it, go to hell for the entire uh, group, so be it. I stand with my own beliefs, my own principles. If there is a war, there has to be for it a reason. And uh, frankly, after I saw the briefing of uh, World War I, I say that Germany had the full right to go berserk, since the whole world um, bullied them to the point of going berserk. I don't care who started the war, I don't care how it uh, proceeded, and I don't care about who lost or who won. You're a human, and you provoke someone to fight you, you should die. And if anyone, if everyone else around you starts calling you, you see them, you kill them, you should be killed also. Call me a nihilist. Call me a complete uh, Persian um, maniac. Um, a nihilist um, <laughs> junkie. I don't care. I believe in pure, full justice. If justice cannot be reached, they might as well just reach the ultimate justice, that is death. If, uh, if uh, justice doesn't exist in the world, might as well just destroy it all. I don't believe in... Look here. If you cannot have a portion of something, I will not take it all. If I cannot uh, take the whole thing, I will not take a portion of it. Zero or 100, there's no in-between. Black or white, there is no in-between. Red or blue, nothing in between. That's just how I, how I roll. If you don't like it, go away. If you don't like my standing or, or my political or moral compass, go away. I will not change my principles and beliefs for anyone's sake at all. Whoever stands with me, with my ideals and with my own uh, <laughs> principles, can stay and be my friend. I don't mind it. That's why finding true friends and people who I won't mind to stand for and uh, sacrifice my life for is not easy. And once I find them, I keep them. I'm a, ma a man of principles. Simply put. I deal with this 83. <coughs> American history is not, wo is not world history. 
So no reason to be mad about anything that happens in it. Also, he has nothing to comment about the death of the Queen Elizabeth. He's not British. Invisible is Canadian. Not British, not American. None of my business. 84. Invisible is very much radical. He either reaches 100% of his goals or simply uh, he or he simply kicks the topic away and goes back home. If he has uh, an unachievable goal, he's more than ready to drop it. Self explanatory. I'll do this explanatory right now. 85. They say get good or get lost. Invisible says get. Uh, gatekeep and get lost. Whoever gatekeeps something deserves to keep it until they die. So whatever is kept can die with uh, with its gatekeeper. You wish to gatekeep for the hardest games? Do okay, keep gatekeeping them until you both die. Don't care. 86. Believes in true freedom of design and artistry. As long as the design and ideas aren't pure degeneracy, he supports creativity and fights with blood against censorship. Anything that gets censored should be fully trashed, and whoever gets uh, whoever gets restrained from forming their art because of their kind of their kind of <laughs> they are. Whoever gets restrained from following their art because of any kind of obstacles, that obstacle should be broken and trashed. I'm talking about the freedom of designers. Whoever stands in the way of a free designer should be killed. 87. Doesn't believe in majority of the United Nations rules and completely rejects the aging system. Fully believes countries have their own rules and laws. The United Nations doesn't control the planet and therefore should not inject its venomous brainwashing into everything. Invisible is not an ageist and he doesn't care about the adulthood age or whatever. For every land, their own environment and their own rules. The human's, uh, human body is affected always by the development of its environment and of its own rules, regulations, and laws. Every nation, every country, every household has its own regulations, rules, and beliefs. 18 is not set in stone, and I don't believe in it, and whoever w wishes to for enforce it upon me, got to hell. 18 is not the um, age of uh, adult adulthood, and uh, the right of passage is different from tribe to tribe, from family to family, from nation to nation, from country to country. If you don't like it, get lost. The video is named Facts About Invisible, not Rants of Invisible. Invisible, calm down and a little bit please collect yourself. Only to, to a 10 left. 88. Got used so much on criticism that for him, positive support is a rarity to receive, meaning criticize him until you grow a beard. Insults no longer harm him as long as his eye, in his eyes they carry no value, and the aggressor is already has already died in his own mind. Criticize me as you wish. Your words will not harm me as long as I see no value in you. And since the moment you started clowning with me, I have already killed you a thousand ways in five seconds. For me, you are nothing more than a corpse. So go, go back to your grave. Positive support, although it's a great in scarcity and very little, is now get, uh, getting a little bit more attention by the hands of my friends. So I thank them for it. But actual life, positive influence, is too uh, little and very hard to come by. So I treasure it. 89. Invisible is an obvious uh, alias nickname for the content creator behind it. So frankly, the original creator doesn't reflect Invisible's personality that much. True. When uh, when you wish to differentiate between the original creator name uh, <coughs> name not, uh, not included and the Invisible's uh, brand personality, I need to differentiate between when I am speaking by myself and when I am speaking in character. Otherwise, you will not be able to tell in between. When do I exactly say that I'm a defeatist? I cannot remember it anymore. 
90. Whenever he plays as male characters, he sees himself as being the best friend. Whenever he plays as female characters, he sees them, uh, them as his own daughters. And whenever he plays as any other creature, it really depend depends <coughs> dependent on how to replay. But Invisible never puts himself into the game's world at all. I never wish to live in the world of games itself. That's why I never replay as my own. If you are a male character that I can control you, you are my friend. If you are a girl, you are my daughter or my friend also. But never myself. 91. Invisible suffers from never ending anxiety, stress, disorder. Anxiety, <laughs> never ending anxiety, stress, disorders. The triggering side effects that include difficult breathing, as you can see right now, uh, hand skin allergies and the incalculable elements of nightmares. Also, he has a panic attack disorder. Self-explanatory. 92. Likes to start lots of things uh, at once, but always struggles to balance between them. 93. Supports AI supremacy and development. Already this book about. Frankly, if we were to reach the, the age of cyberpunk, I wouldn't mind to go full uh, droid. Being a human is just too fragile and too pointless. 94. Never forgives, never forgets, holds grudges, and he won't fight you on the keyboard. If there will be a battle, there there will be blood casualties and souls lost. Invisible only believes in a fight that actually ha has uh, a winner and a corpse in the end. Keyboard fighting is too stupid for him. I already, I already said this. When you, talk, when you say there is a loser, I expect a corpse, not a loser by the millennials' uh, ideology. You want to fight? Expect to either kill or be killed. 95. Plans to get himself a firearm someday soon. For a certain deed. I will not explain this any further. 96. If science can guarantee it, he wouldn't mind donating his brain to become the first ever living biological AI. self explanatory 97. Considers living a curse and death a blessing. I already spoke about this. 98. Invisible's body has a dirty habit to activate uh, drugs uh, side effects more often than uh, main effects. Yeah, whenever I take medicines for drugs or for cuffs or uh, antibiotics and whatnot, if, if it has the side effect of making you sleepy, I pass out. Uh, if you if it gives you the side effect of uh, be having muscle uh, um, <coughs> shivering or um, contractions or whatnot, it always happens. I have a very bad uh, side effects uh, prone to body. Ninety nine used to have an alter uh, personality named V. Most of likely would bring it back. Yeah, back in the day, I had uh, some joke character named V, which used as my alter ego and uh, kind of a tutorial on how to give commentary or feedback. But looks like it never worked, so I'm not bringing him again back again. One hundred would like to learn cybersecurity if it means he would be able to protect himself by himself. This has the double meaning, because if I can retaliate against my enemies, so be it. If I can turn myself anonymous, so be it. If I can become a grey hat uh, cracker and hacker, so be it. Sometimes the only way for you to force in force justice is to enforce it by your own hand. Because the humans are just too much cowardly to do anything on, them, on the, themselves. That's it. 100 facts about Invisible. This project is officially over. See you in today's session whenever that will be recorded. Take care. If some of the commentary I gave you didn't, didn't uh, appeal to your liking, ignore it. 
If you must start an argument in the comments, just leave. If you didn't like some assessments I made, ignore it. And if you think that I am crazy because I have my own principles and my own standings, leave. I don't care even if I end up with zero subscribers, as long as I can speak out my mind as I wish. If some of my words get censored, to hell with it. I don't care. I no longer care, and I cannot be forced to care. All the works I'm, I'm doing right now, I'm doing them with the knowledge that my channel can be deleted at any given moment. And I better have some uh, list of backup for all of my subscriptions. Because if my channel was to be deleted, I will never return here ever again. I will move out to another site where I will migrate forever. YouTube is not the only uh, self-broadcasting media there is on this world. And uh, yeah, I'm not forced to use it forever. Take care all. Peace.